Hey lovely people, welcome back to my channel. This is your girl of Ewa Diodu and I'm back with another educative video. If this is the first time you're seeing me, I am a YouTuber based in Accra, Ghana. Do well to support this family by subscribing to this channel, liking my videos and sharing them with friends and family. If you're an old subscriber, you already know the deal. I cannot thank you enough. Thank you so much for always coming back. Thank you for always supporting your girl. Now, as the title of this video suggests, today I'm going to share with you 10 solid reasons why you are not being called back for a job interview. So if you are interested in this kind of content, do stick and stay. In order to secure a job, there are certain processes and action that needs to be taken before this materializes. The first is looking for vacancies and then the second is applying. Then the third, that is the frustrating part, is waiting for a call or that email. Now we are very much aware that thousands of people are constantly applying for jobs. Even those that already have employment are still applying and looking for better options. That is why it's very important for you to put your best foot forward when you're applying for jobs. Now I hope these 10 reasons I'm going to share with you will help to propel you and give you an advantage in your next application. Without wasting much time, let's get straight into the video. The first reason on my list is poor resume. We are all aware that you cannot apply for a job without a resume. So that should tell you that the resume is a very important tool in acquiring or securing a job. Your resume should be able to sell you. It should highlight why you will be an asset to any organization. Your impact and your accomplishment must be clear. Most of us focus more on our responsibilities and duties than our accomplishments. If you want your CV to stand out, you need to pay attention to your accomplishments and make sure that it is the highlight of your CV. Also, our CVs are not tailor-made. It's like a generic CV. And we send the same CV everywhere in this part of the world it's like most of us do not go in the career path we start with we are all looking for a job and sometimes you study a different course you end up working in a totally different field than what you studied and then moving on you might not continue you just look for the next better option or next available option so sometimes our cv can be all over the place so a person reading the cv might find it difficult to make sense of what we've done over a period of time so this is something we need to pay close attention to because a lot of us are corporate and it's not by choice you need to survive so you end up working in different different fields and they do not link that is why we need to tailor our CVs so that our CV does not look all over the place. Number two reason on my list is applying for jobs that are not right for our background. Applying for jobs that has absolutely nothing to do with our field or our previous experience. In short, it will seem as if our materials we've presented do not speak to the job that we are applying because our experience has totally nothing to do with um, the job that is available. So once you are applying for a job, the first thing you have to look at is the job description and the qualification. I understand that looking for a job is not an easy task and sometimes when you are get you are getting frustrated you are tempted to apply for everything and nothing but it's very important to make sure that you read the qualifications and make sure you have those qualities okay and also ensure that you tailor your CVs to fit that qualification so that once you apply it makes sense I hope you get where I'm coming from. It could be that you are also overqualified for the job and so all the materials you've presented does not speak directly to the job. It could be that 
it's beneath it even though it might be in the same field like a branch manager applying for an officer role another reason and that this could be that your achievement does not match with the preference of the employer it's as simple as that sometimes it's not rocket science number three on my list is not networking enough that one i do not have to talk much about it we already know it's a norm it happens everywhere if you know someone it gives you a little push so if you are able to meet the right people at the right time they can always give you a push they can put in a word for you or they can refer you for a job number four on my list is relying too much on job websites and links i already did a video on how to find vacancies if you haven't seen that video i will link it up here even in that video i did say that sometimes you need to actually make that move instead of being at home just sending cvs through links there are a lot of agencies around that you can work in to make inquiries build rapport with them so that they can help you to get better options it's also part of the networking you need to find other means of getting vacancies other than the job website and links number five on my list is not applying for enough jobs my dear looking for employment is not an easy task everyone knows that it involves a lot of work and dedication try to send or apply for as many jobs as you can when you see a link apply immediately it's never enough until you find that job number six on my list is when you have unexplained gap or recent gap in employment which takes me to point number seven you must always accompany your resume or your cv with a cover letter so in the cover letter you are supposed to explain or it gives you the opportunity to explain why there is a gap in employment your cover letter should convince your employer and tell your employer why you need the job it's as simple as that why do you need a job number eight on my list is social media are you aware that some companies are doing background search before they call you in and the easiest way to get information now is through social media it could be your social media is sending a bad vibe number nine sometimes it just could be about educational background and experience nothing personal you just don't fit their preference or requirement the last on my list which is number 10 is it is possible remember guys it is not over until you find a job remember guys it is not over until you find a job until you find a job i hope these 10 reasons i've shared with you will make all the difference thank you for watching this video all the way till the end so we we'll meet another time Makramo, I'm out. Bye-bye.